Cuckoos Podcast. Three Cuckoos Podcast. Three Cuckoos Podcast. Three Cuckoos Podcast. Hello and welcome to this week's Three Cuckoos Podcast. Does Broadchurch Season Three, Episode Two, Season Three, Series Three. It's well, British. It depends whether you're American it's or British. not. British. No, I'm, I'm British. It's, it's a series season. three. I apologise. Episode two. Um, it says season three up there. It does. I'm Rob. This is Mark. Hi. And and this is Broadchurch. That's Alec. Oh, Miller. Wrong. Miller. Alec Hardy. Miller. And Haley from Coronation Street. Yes, absolutely. She's looking for Roy. So this week, obviously, the drama continues. And oh, it dramatic. keeps making everybody look guilty. Everybody's guilty. And you know this, the advancing looks as they leave the interview. <laughs> They're questioning people one. and it's this, the this look. This is season one, everyone's, everyone's a suspect. Everyone's and it's brilliant. Suspect. This is this is why we watch it though, isn't it? Lenny Lenny's guilty, Lenny Henry. He's guilty. He's the only one who's not guilty yeah. so far. Ian, who is Charlie Higson's character. <sighs> guilty! Um, so this week, we find out a little bit more about the taxi driver who gave him the glance... Didn't he? Yeah, we did. He well, was we found out he'd been there and back a few times. I him up on the street. He'd been there and back many, many times. So, and his radio went out at half past ten, Mark. His radio went out. I even went back to town. Didn't get it sorted. Scandalous. And it was working fine, wasn't it? It was. Hey. Oh, I've got to go. Oh, I've got to go. Your radio's working fucking great <laughs> now. Hey. I'm Bella. <laughs> excuse, excuse my language there, Mark. I apologise. It's all right. It's not a children's show. war. Um, so yeah, obviously um, there was some very good scenes in this one this week. I thought it was excellent. I thought it was excellent too. Um, the uh, the forensic guy wasn't in it, which upset me a lot. Sock O'Brien. Sock O'Brien. He had a very good part in it last time. Shit face. I agreed uh, wholeheartedly with his character. Mm. You know, I sympathised with him, Mark. He's very good, Sock O'Brien. Absolutely. Give it to the man. Mm. Um, <clears throat> now, we also got introduced to um, Beth Latimer. In her job this week, didn't mm, we? Mm. Talking to Hayley. Hayley. <laughs> Trish Winterman. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. Can you put your hand there you. again? Sorry. Mark's got these beautiful Star Wars pyjamas on, by the way. They are amazing. Do you mind not telling YouTube stand up. about I want to no. see them. No. <laughs> what if they fall down as <laughs> I stand up? <laughs> then we get a lot of hits. And then banned all at the same time. Um, you could upload it to Pornhub. Yes. <laughs> well, depends. Where the mood takes us after they come down. So yeah, obviously, did you find it a bit weird when Trish and Beth were having a conversation? Oh yeah, about her being a victim stroke client um, in a cafe. Yeah, I, did. I think that was really weird. Surely she'd have met her at home. I'm not being funny. And I know it was a better backdrop. And don't worry, Trish. Everything you say it will be strictly confidential. <laughs> Except for that woman who sat one yeah. foot behind me, <laughs> trying to enjoy her mochaccino with take a break while you're Did you talking. See her just move a carrot cake away but, from her. <laughs> not even that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's that caramel slice down the drain. Um, <laughs> yes, I did. No, I didn't. I think we made that up in our heads a little bit. Um, but she wasn't far away. In the in she the... wasn't far away. I thought she'd have been more of a whisper, whisper. But Being she was someone who. Who works in, not the that, but, you know, who works in mental health services. Yeah. I wouldn't talk to someone about their illness in the middle of Costa. No. Not that they're in Costa. There's no Costa in Broadchurch. I would have thought there is, actually. There probably is. In real life. Born everywhere. Yeah, it's next to that fancy damn <clears throat> police station. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's the posh end of town. Not where that taxi rank was. Beautiful place, isn't it? So, basically, they got a list of all the people who were there at this party. They did, from the uh, very guilty mechanic. Oh, who was the he husband was the first one. What did they talk to? Who had the condoms, remember? Oh, come on. Don't come f- on. Don't forget the condoms. Come on. He was suspect. He's very dodgy. And he's still got a pit as well. He's still in the pit. I love that. I love that. The bit where they released... I mean, we're going a bit for, f- into the episode, but when they released the like the press release and it was on the radio, yeah. Oh, and yeah. all the suspect men <laughs> were like watching the telly or listening to... The- <laughs> I'm done for. They're coming for me. And they're all packing the bags. <laughs> Get find the passports. <laughs> He's in pit lowering car down. <coughs> Looking from under a wheel. Putting a pipe into the tailpipe. <laughs> it's like kill himself. He was like that. I what hate he could, myself. He could just see his eyes. What have I done? Oh, God. Blowing up a condom. <laughs> Charlie Higson's going to throw himself out of a building. Lying to the police is a lot like making love to a beautiful woman. So this week we had the amazing standoff with the cabbie, didn't yep. we? Uh, we had the interview of Trisha's ex-husband, 
who I believe is called Ian. Ian, Charlie Higson. Yes, Charlie Higson's character. Um, oh, he was, I mean, he was, he was excellent. Do you think so? I thought it was, it was so awkward. It was brilliant. He was quite awkward. Although he was also the ex, wasn't he? He was. Who ex. was very honest. Still married though. Yeah, absolutely. Got a new girlfriend. Well, that was quite interesting, wasn't it? The revelation that she slept with a lot of guys. Yeah, she's throwing her weight around. <laughs> um, and he doesn't like it because oh, they are the technically town. married. Yeah, exactly. It's on his doorstep as well. Yeah. So has he got like a bit it. of a vendetta? <laughs> Although, you know... I'll get you, Haley. <laughs> Sorry, Trish. Although, you know... <clears throat> I mean, he was, he was very awkward and he let a lot slip, which I think... It was almost like he was trying to make her sound I, guilty, yeah. more guilty, mm, like yeah. she'd been asking for it, or things had been going on at the party that maybe shouldn't have been. That's yeah. what I, that's what I felt he was doing. They made a big thing about the whole, I'm not giving a DNA test, yeah. but he is a scientist. Is he? Yeah, well, is that not what he did? Well, he was sat with a computer behind him. But if they came and interviewed me in my office, I'd be with a computer behind me, but Would I'm you? not a scientist. You'd be in a pub somewhere. Pool all. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> no, I thought in the job that he does, and it, it came across that he was a science teacher, and maybe he just doesn't want his stuff on record. I wouldn't have found it too strange. He said that. He didn't agree with the... If he was an English teacher or a geography it, teacher, I get it. I, I originally it's a bit weird. I misheard what he said, but I think he said he didn't agree with the way the police... Hoard bio DNA data. samples, a uh, bio data. Bio data. I originally thought he said haul them, haul them out, collect them and haul them out. They the haul them out. Um, that's what DNA they collect. It, it, I suppose, well, it does absolutely, yeah. Um, and then yeah, so they had the interview with the cabbie and him, who were both very awkward yeah. and looked very guilty. And then suddenly we're in a discussion with some lady in her dinner and talking about they're going to ch- uh, close the Broadchurch Echo. Yeah. Which was very strange. Um, Why? Who cares? She had a strange mouth, didn't she, that woman? She did. She had a strange mouth. Catherine said she looked very odd. Yeah. Odd looking. I didn't want to say that. Maybe it was part of the character. She was eating a quinoa. She Was that what it was? Looked like it. Quinoa yeah. salad. What's that? It's what the yuppies eat. It's <laughs> an 80s word. Yuppie. Love that. Well done. It's what these, Took what do they call them? These people who have beards and wear old-fashioned clothes. Or tree huggers. No. Oh. <laughs> Geography oh, teachers. God. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> they all. So, obviously, we found out that they're going to close the Echo. Echo, Echo, Echo. Uh, hey. The broad church Echo. Hey, Echo, Echo. How, I, how I, many I, times can we do that? Again? I saw no point in that other than the broad church Echo is going to be saved. Do you think so? Because they'll let her cover the story. Or she'll, someone will sell the story to the paper to save the right, broad okay. church echo. Okay. It'll have to be a happy ending, Rob, because season one didn't have an happy ending, did it? they have to skip down a road, aren't they? At some point into a sunset. You've got to do some, man. Absolutely. <clears throat> Either that or the whole town burns down in a rage. I don't think it'll happen like No, that. me neither. I wonder what will, but never mind anyway. Hey, There's we'll get there. eight episodes. We're going to get there. Seven. Yeah, so... Um, and then, yeah, obviously, it all built up mm-hmm. to the fact... Oh, well, there was, a nice, there was a nice exchange between Mark Latimer and Paul, Reverend Paul, wasn't there? Did you like that? In the church. I really did like that, yeah. Because he was saying that... Well, he was saying to the... He met up with his wife first, hadn't he? News, yeah, he met with his wife first, didn't he, in the park? Stop teasing me. <laughs> kind of said that. Basically. He said you can't... You can't he, go for a coffee in park. You know I'm going to come running, like a little lap dog. So stop calling me, all right? I never touched her. Or writer. And I never touched that lady. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nige. I, I'm ruling myself <clears throat> out. No, that's Mark. That was Mark. They sound very similar. Um, they all sound similar. They all sound the same. So, yeah, so he was like, Duck, I'm not going to come running anymore. Well, I am, so stop, stop calling Stop doing me. it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and then, yeah, obviously he's still upset. And he got his check through, didn't he? Yeah. For 11 grand. Wasn't happy with that. No, he wasn't happy with that. And it, I wouldn't be either. No, no, you won't. No, you won't you be won't your son back, don't you? But... Um, I thought it was a really nice acted piece, actually, because he had this anger and he was trying to vent to Paul, wasn't he? The Reverend. Now, do you think, obviously he was saying um, Joe, who was Olivia Coleman's character's husband in the first and second season. Joe Miller. He got off, didn't he? Yep. Right. So he was saying, I want him. I, I, we should have done him, Paul. We should have done him when we had the cliff. chance. Yeah. Paul looked so awkward at mm. that point. Do you think they're going to bring the original case into this? No. 
Are we sure? I think they'll bring Joe Miller back, though. <sighs> I think he'll come back. I love that. He'll be I've back. just got a funny feeling there's another twist. He'll bring, they'll bring Joe Miller back, but definitely. There's, I think there's something on the boil there. When they started talking about it, you could see there was it, something else. It, it, give me trouble there. It, feel like, it felt like there's no need to have all these people from season one and two in it. If, if, there's, if something there's not something not coming, else going off, what's the point? I agree. I've got a feeling Joe Miller's going to turn up. Oh, there's, some, there's more to this than meets the eye with the first series, yeah. I think. Yeah. I know the second one's a bit of a... Yeah, well, they're not coming back. Well, they? I quite liked it. I quite like the whole second season. As yeah. A, yeah, as a stopgap. Right, yeah, but fine. I've got a feeling this this series is going to be great. It is so far. It is really you good. Get, see, the more you get of, of Miller and, and Hardy together, the better it is, because yes, it they're is. brilliant together. They're absolutely superb. And then, oh, we had the exchange with um, the guy who uh, ran the business, who made the twine. Yes. As well. He well, wasn't keen either. Possibly made the twine. We were obviously, well, he was an arse, wasn't he? He wasn't keen, were he? Loved himself. Oh. How old are you? And I suggest you cooperate or I'm going to ring your fucking dad. Swaggering little shit. <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> she called him a swaggering little she's shit. Not in Scottish, obviously, because she's yeah. not. But yeah, no. swaggering little she's shit. She's brilliant. I can't cope with swaggering little shit today. When Ellie was talking to Beth in mm. the... Was it a bus stop? Yeah, uh, no, it was like a, one of them shelters you have at the seaside. Yeah. Because you back to the... Her laugh was sea. hilarious. So it's where you go, shelter if yeah. the sea's rough. Her laugh Choppy. was brilliant. Yeah, it was. Wasn't it? Really, really <clears> funny. <throat> yeah, it's nice to see them being friends again. Yeah, there's, there's, there, are, there are some nice little touches in between all the... Because yeah, it are. is very serious. But you were saying, weren't you, where um, uh, Hardy is talking to his daughter, there was just no point in that. I didn't think so. I don't see Did the point in... in um, building character. Building this character now when they've already said this is going to be the third mm. and final season. Well, what's the point in introducing... A new character to build uh, up in his daughter. What's the point? I know. They're Unless so they're going to shock us and put another season. In. They're Which so fine, good. Man. They are so good together. <clears throat> they are. Miller and Hardy, they're so good they together. They are. I know. It's a shame. It's a shame. <clears throat> but it was just, it was, you know, there was a lot of interviewing male suspects. There was. Um, and all of them looking guilty. I love <laughs> it. I love it. But I love that. That's kind of why we watch it, because you never know where it's going. And everybody's a suspect. I said, but see, if it goes by the first one, you would never have ever guessed who it never, was. Never, never, never. So when the bloke in the garage right at the start was stood outside watching him leave, that was another thing about it. Every time they interviewed someone, they had to come outside or go to a window mm. to suspiciously watch the police leave. <laughs> it's Socko they Brian. Did it. I'm putting my money on Socko Brian right but now. But when, when the mechanic was stood outside the garage, yep. a, bla- a bloke came out. Yeah, he did. Just and some, gave him a cup of coffee. Just some and I said one. to Catherine, it's him. It's him. It's just some no one, isn't he? It's away with the coffee. He just knew. His apprentice. See? Did you think so? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I th- I th- when he came out, I was like, who's he? Maybe it's Alec Hardy. Who are you? Oh, that had finished the season, wouldn't it? Boom. Well, there's a, there's a, there was a line between them where Ellie went, well, why did you come back then? What? Oh, you're thinking too much into this, man. No That's idea what nothing. you're talking about. It's nothing. You don't think it were him? No. Nah. Who do you think it was? No. Nah. He's like my hero. Alec Hardy? Yeah. Or David Tennant? Look at him. Look at him. Beautiful. David Tennant. Oh, there. <laughs> yes. I wonder what the hell you were doing then. I was looking. I was you looking, were looking at... I was looking oh, yeah, at, I see. Looking at him, yeah. Oh, so if I, if I just point or look at Jaws... Yeah. Then... That's right, yeah. I'm doing it. Spoiling it, the illusion now, Mark. The camera get, It confuses me. I'm only simple-minded. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, love this episode. Thought it was great. It was it was wicked. It was wicked. Besides the bits with the old woman in from the newspaper. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? No. And the the other the other woman, she's not been in it. She's got a big case in London. Yeah, and Paul. What was her the, name? The... She was famous. Surprise lesbian. The other one. Who was that? I've forgotten her name. Who was in it this this week? <sighs> no, she wasn't in it. She was in the last season. I do know who you mean. Was it Charlotte Rumbling? Something uh, like that. Yes. Right, yeah, there the, you go. yeah, the surprise lesbian. Yeah, she's supposed yes. to be in it, isn't she? Oh, I don't know. She was having an affair with one from paper. She, she was. Yeah, I she, think she, she said she's not here. Right. She's gone. Is she coming back? I don't know. You don't think so? She's gone to London. She got a big case. Oh, darling. I thought she'd given up. I have no idea. But so, it was yeah. It, it was about. It was very cleverly set up. Yep. So that we now think it's every single person they've interviewed so Correct. far, and I love that. And they've still got to interview more. So there'll be Lenny Henry to be interviewed. Lenny. All the women. They've not interviewed any of the women yet. And I like I like the fact that Ellie hates this new intern oh. who's at the police. And it so happens 
that that is is it Ed? Is Lenny Henry's real name yeah. in the thing? Is it Ed Burnett or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it's Burnett, isn't it? Yeah. And his name was highlighted in yellow, yes. in, in pink or whatever. Yeah. And she looked at it and went, that's my dad. She's going to get thrown off the case. So she, yeah, well, she's going to. She's got to. She's got to. Ellie don't like her because she's a bit bossy. And then <clears> the <throat> episode came to a head and they're going to interview Trish. Yeah. Fan dabby dozy because we've all been waiting for this. Even though they all said she wasn't ready. I know. Hardy was like, Do no, it. F this. You're going down at four o'clock. Rightly so as well. It. I thought so. <laughs> I thought so, yeah. Well, look at her there. She don't look ready. She, well, look at her. She's in a right mess. Look at her. She's looking forlorn. God love her. <clears throat> Poor Haley. Yeah, Poor Trish. Trish. Um, if only she had Roy to hold on to. Exactly. Exactly. And um, his roles. Yeah, and his roles. Get a grip of Roy's roles. Classic roles. So, yeah, obviously it was a really cool interview. It was great. Beth was in the room at she the time. She said nothing. Doing Jack, by the way. I hope she's not getting paid for this. Well, she's already breached confidentiality more than once. <laughs> she really has in the park as well. well. Oh my God, yeah. In a public place. Oh. Um, so yeah, and then everything was going really well. She was remembering quite a lot. She was being quite open and honest. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was all being dealt with quite tactfully, I would have said. Although they've got to ask the questions, haven't you? Yep. And then her recent sex life came into the equation. So, uh, and what do you think about that, Mark? What do I think? When was the last time... <clears throat> You had sex with a beautiful lady. Me? <laughs> no, when was the last mind. time? She Trish had sex that had morning. Sex that morning. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Machine gun. Suddenly the eyebrow went up on Alec Cardi's face. Miller. Um, yeah, and they didn't know what to think, did they? No. Who with? Who? Give me a name. Give me, Give me a, a name. name. Give me a name. It was a stranger. It was a stranger? Someone she met on the internet. Really? That morning? internet so what web address is this <laughs> i'm not left on maybe tinder maybe tinder maybe tinder so the morning of the party yep mm. yep she'd woken up in a bed that wasn't her own <laughs> i don't know i didn't say my daughter came back do you think it was the cabbie no no because he wouldn't have been a stranger would he <clears throat> do you think they'd had sex that night I that think... that morning I've got some suspicions that she's... You had a suspicion that um, she'd slept with her husband at the party. Well, it'd explain why the... Really? <laughs> really? I'm We're no recording a YouTube happened. video and you just l- let your did, guts go. That did not happen. Wow. It was the chair. Excuse me, everybody. Real squeaky chair. Um, you put so me you, off my stroke. You... <laughs> I can't believe you... No, I'm not going to say that. Well, his girlfriend left after having a row. Correct. With his ex-wife. And he'd had too much to drink. He's had too much to drink. And, yeah, he was having a go at her for cavorting with well, several men mm, at the party, is what he said. Showing him up. Don't cavort with him. So the plot thickens. Do you oh, think, dramatic. Do you think that dramatic. company's going to have anything to do with the twine? Yeah. Yeah. The twine will come from them. It's bound to, innit? They sell it all over the South East. Because then that'll make Dad, who we've not seen yet, who owns the company... And the little shit. Oh, yeah. That'll put them both in the frame, Dad, he's a suspect. He, he loves golfing. Does he? He's a golfer. What's that got to do with anything? Oh, well, he was away. That's why he was away. Playing golf. So you think it's like... Um, well, we don't know who he is yet, do we? We've not seen Sydney's him. Sydney's dad in Scream. Ooh, could be. He would have suspect. <laughs> Always. Always a suspect. You want him turned up in a cupboard at the end. He did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Maybe that block's dad will turn, him in a, turn up in a cupboard in at a the cupboard. end. In a cupboard. Do you think there's going to be more? What? Rapes. Yeah. Do you think there will be? I think something will come out, yeah. Do you? I think, it, I think it's some kind of swing of sex party that went on. Oh, do you think so? I do, yeah. Don't you? I don't know. Don't you think they all got together for that? A lot of 50 fellas. 50 men. A lot of fellas. <clears throat> Prostitute. Just a massive dogging Just sesh. Saying. In a massive... In the park. Just saying. I Just think saying. it was going on all over the party. It was everywhere. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> Hot and steamy. Do you think that's... Obviously, Trish was... Right in there then, wasn't she? Because oh, it she sounds like... The, she was in the thick of it. Sounds like she's been having uh, sexual relations with other men. Well, she's single now. She is, absolutely yeah, right. Single yeah. ladies. Yeah, and he's going out with a geography teacher anyway, isn't he? he how do you know all this? She, he said. He's seen the geography teacher. Is her ex. Do you think so? He's lying. And then her, her daughter came back, didn't she? Trish that was Winsman's very daughter. weird with that. Did you think so? I thought it was really strange. Why? <laughs> grabbed it like that it was yeah. really odd I think that's probably how it 
I could imagine it. But then she goes from that to going into the interview where she's just serious and straight to the point, no emotion whatsoever. Did that not strike you as weird either? She just told it exactly as it was, word for word. This is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. And for the rest of it, she's been a nervous, emotional wreck. Mm. Something, come on, man. I don't know. This is it. There was something that didn't sit right with it. I like to see it progress. I like to see but where it's going. Something didn't sit right with the interview. She's just, she can't even talk. She's sat, did you not see her when she was sat in that cafe? Wow. Waiting for Beth. And she's like, ooh, rubbing her face. Which is obviously fair enough because she's been raped in that. And then all of a sudden they go in and talk about yeah. it. This is what happened. Blow for blow. Mm. I woke up. I mean. Interesting. I was wearing a blue flowered dress, silver leggings and white shoes. Oh, I bet you looked lovely. What were you doing? Doing it like a fitness video or something? <laughs> An eighties party. <laughs> was it an Abba so tribute or something? Was... And I woke up and he was having sex with me. What yeah. do you mean having sex with me? Well, he had his penis in my vagina. She was all really matter of fact. There were no emotion, and the rest of it. The last two episodes, she's just been a wreck. Is that not what they were on, getting? Uh, for? Yeah, I know. I like to see no, progress. She's talking about it. There's no tears. No this nothing. Is, this is why we do this. Because I like to see your you opinion. Go, you've got to watch, you've got to see beyond. I do, I like your you've opinion. You've got to see beyond, Robert. That's why I like quizzing you about these things. You don't look, you don't look, like I'm some kind of bloody expert in No, it. I know, but I like your opinion, Mark. And this is why. This is why we make these videos. It was, it was, mm, didn't sit right. Did so it much, not? So, much, so that's, I've got an itch that well, I can't scratch. Well, well that's, I don't know what it was. That's why they write these dramas, you see. I should write Because it these leads dramas. to something else, usually. There's usually something in the background. <laughs> yeah. Just scratch it, Mark. Just I can't because it. I can't put my finger on why. It was all, it don't, something's not right. But it's well, very it's obviously good. not right, but. And I, there's a lot of suspects. And like you said, the the feeling that Joe Miller might be coming back into it and there's more to the original story. That got me going. Yeah, big that time. That got me going. That whole thing with Mark and Reverend Paul. And as soon as he mentioned Joe Miller, I thought there's no way that they're mentioning that for no apparent reason. And I'm excited. And Paul looked guilty as fuck. Reverend Paul. He knows where he is. He looked guilty. He knows man. where he is. He's hidden him. He, knows where he is he hidden is. him. He's in a cupboard. He's changed his name to Jeff. He's in a cupboard. With that bloke who sells the twine. Yep. He's in his dad. Oh my God. He's in a cupboard with Joe Miller. He's killed him. Which one? Uh, the, the young sons killed them both, wrapped them up in a fisherman's net, and they're, in a, in, a they're in a locker somewhere. Oh, that's a shout, is that? That's a bold claim. Watch this space, boys and girls. We'll see you next Watch week. Watch this space. Like, comment, share. Yeah. Tell your friends. Like, comment, who, subscribe. Who don't watch Broadchurch. Just tell them as well. Tell your friends. It's fine. Look at us. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. No idea. Put in the comments. Tell us what you think. We didn't watch. Catch us on Twitter. I didn't even watch it. At Three Cuckoos. <laughs> he didn't. Obviously. <laughs> I did. I just like Mark's opinion. He's very opinionated. I love that. No, I'm not. You are. I've never been accused of that before. I love it. Listen. I'd watch. I'm sure these poor people have had enough of my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Just click the like, right? Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that. And we'll see you next week. Yes. See you later. Bye. Three